It's Fox 44 Sports with Matt Roberts. I usually start with a good evening to you, but 18 years ago it was anything but as America was attacked and thousands killed on a day that changed our worlds forever. Sports definitely had an impact on the healing of our nation, and we'll get to that here in just a bit. But it was an event that if you're old enough to remember where you were, when you heard the news, you absolutely do. A defensive assistant coach for the UCLA Bruins at the time, all the way across the country, but as a New York native, his heart was back home with his friends and family. That assistant was current Baylor head coach Matt Rule. I was in Los Angeles working for Coach Snow. I remember driving to work, and it was one of the um, it was one of the sadder, sadder, lonelier times probably in Julie and I's life as our, our fr friends and family were all back in Pennsylvania, New York, and us on the West Coast. But um, as, as is true of New York spirit, uh, as is true of the uh, spirit of the United States, I think what was a tragedy has also, also brought a lot of people together. And so um, today's a special day for me and a lot of people that I care about. Of course, the sports world stopped for a bit in the wake of September 11th, but when it got back going again, there were tributes everywhere. None perhaps as cool as the Aggies turning their east side decks red, white, and blue in the first game after 9-11. And of course, the greatest first pitch of all time, President George W. Bush going to the top of the mound at Yankee Stadium in the World Series, wearing a bulletproof vest, delivering the thumbs up, and then a perfect strike from atop the mound at Yankee Stadium, embodying the perseverance and fighting spirit of the United States of America. One of the coolest sports moments I myself have ever been able to witness. Of course, our military and first responders give us the opportunity to go about our daily lives and do things like play football and enjoy the friendly competition. That's exactly what's going to take place on Friday night in China Spring. As Shane Anderson and the Connolly Cadets will take their number four ranking in 4A Division II over to the Cougar Den to try and knock off China Spring that already beat a ranked Lorena season. The cadets coming in with high expectations and so far through the first few weeks, so far so good. We can get better at everything, you know, really. But um, what I learned is that, you know, we got potential all around the field, you know, on both sides of the ball, even on special teams, we got potential. I just like our team chemistry and how we've been working together. You know, we've come together as one and we just putting in the work on the field and off the field. Uh, we can run the football. We know that, you know, we're very, very physical up front. And, uh, you know, of course, the guy we're handing it to is pretty good himself. And uh, probably the biggest deal is KV and Gaither has done a great job stepping in at quarterback and, you know, just managing the game and understanding, taking what the defense gives us and, uh, you know, just moving people around, getting them in the right spot. We'll hear more from the cadets tonight at 9 o'clock. We'll also hear from their opponent in China Spring. That coming up tomorrow. A lot of great games on the slate. Looking forward to a big Friday night this week. I really like the sports block this time, featuring 9-11 in there. Bring too. it all in. Yeah, absolutely. Cool Very near and dear to Coach Matt Rule. And you definitely hear it in his voice talking about it today. And I remember that moment Bush stepped on the mound. And absolutely. That, ball. that was wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. United a nation. That's right. It was awesome. Thanks, yeah. Matt. Coming up next on Fox 44.